Every decision leads to a direction. And every direction in life takes us to a destination. Brethren, the destination of our family tomorrow is determined by the decision we take today.
Sweetheart, good morning. Hope you slept well. Your breakfast is ready. Sit and eat. Hello, hello. What's all this again? I'm late for work already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Hello, uh, good morning. Is, is that it again? He has just done the same thing this morning. He has refused to talk to me. He has rejected my meal. He has even the breakfast is there, right on the table. You walked out on me. You need you needed to see the way he dragged my son. Oh my god. No, 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 no. No, I can't take this any longer. No. Mm -mm. Yes, yes, yes. No. Oh, ah. Hold on, hold on. I'll see him today. He has been busy lately. <laughs> then I last Mr. James travel to London. Oh yes, of course. He should be back by next year. What a lucky man. Uh-uh. Seke, how are you feeling today? I'm fine. Thanks for your concern, sir. Oh, it's nothing. You're, you're important to every one of us. Not to your boss alone. Just make sure you take care of yourself and don't overwork yourself. That's it. Okay, okay. <laughs> you better go and take a go. Ah. And your body go dig it I mean, your body go dig and pay. Ah. <laughs> I mean. Ah. What's wrong? Second. What's wrong with your boss? He just walked in, not even a word of greeting. I don't know. I don't know. What is it? It's not a name. Yes, it's his wife. It has been like this for a long time. The wife is really taking it all with him. Mm. But Yahweh won't forget, we know. Eh? Uh? Yes. So it's all the Eh, but Okoro? Ah uh ah. -uh. Mr. I'm sorry. Oh. Uh. But you are close to this man. Why don't you advise him? But he won't listen. You know, you have carried all this bone again attitude on his head. So, ah. please. Uh, hey, boy, let's go in there and talk science into his head. I beg, I don't get the time. I've talked to him several times. Mm -hmm. Maybe if you go and meet him in a loom, that he can ease to advise. Uh, uh, that's no problem. I think I'll do just that. Okay. I'll do just that. You're welcome. Uh, second. I'm coming. I'll, I'll see you later. All right, sir. You know, I think I have to be in my office right now. Well, don't worry. You can go to your office. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. let me see this. Ola. Mr. Ola. Good morning. Good ah. morning, Mr. Peter. Good morning. You look disturbed. What is the problem? You just walked in, not even a word of greeting this morning. I've been a fight. Uh, I'm so sorry. It's only from my hand. There is nothing good about this morning. It's a bad day entirely. Mr. Ola, why are you disturbing yourself too much? Let's talk this thing out. Remember, a problem she has is, is absolved. It's the usual thing. I mean my wife. She's killing me. This woman is taking life out of me. Oh, it's because you give her too much attention. That's why she behaves like that. Let me tell you, if a woman refuses to make me happy, I'll go for another woman that will make me happy. Of course, life continues. I can't allow one woman to kill me. You know I'm a Christian. I can't do such. <sighs> Miss Ola, on the most serious note, heaven help those who help themselves. If you don't help yourself out of this mess, no one will. Not even God. You need to get out of this mess. Try and work things out. Work things out. Mr. Peter, I need to have to fast. I'm fed up. 
I'm fed up of her. There's a way out. The way out is for you to disappear. Listen to yourself. You've come again. Disappear. You watch way. When I'm not a magician, how do I disappear from my home? From my own home? Mr. I tell you, just meet with the MD. Tell the MD to transfer you to a very fast state. One, you have time for yourself. And you have time to serve your God better. It won't feel like coming home. That's when you come home. I tell you, this man will learn to respect you better. That's all. Piro, Piro. Ah, um, how realistic is that idea? Oh, I have a friend that tried it. And it worked out for him. You mean it? I tell you. Okay, that's it. I'll put it under consideration. Uh, Let me tell you, call him and die. Oh, you man, bury him. <laughs> sense, bad sense. Please, you come again. Are you serious at all? Please, back to your office. I have a piece of work to do. Uh, I pity you. Let me work things out with your wife. Why would I? I'm not going to my office. The cooking that I'm serving. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, I'm making spend money on every day. Uh, really? If I sweep the house. My friend, my husband will complain that I don't know how to sweep. And if I don't, ah, I'm a dirty woman. Ah, ah. Mm. Hey, hey. This your husband is getting worse. Too. Huh. What does he even really want from you? He, you can ask that question again. Ah, ah. Today, if it's not the food, it must be these children. Ah. Something must definitely provoke my husband. Ah, my ah. friend, the man will holler, don't tire me. I'm fed up. I must see, confess. My friend. Mm. Stop mm. bothering yourself. Mm -hmm. Yes. Stop bothering yourself. Just take a good look at me. No, look at me. I have decided to enjoy my life. Mm -hmm. Even to the fullest. Yes. Because I know I have only one life to live. And I cannot allow any man to come and kill me before my time. You see that my useless husband? Mm -hmm. eh? The one that calls himself my husband. That good for nothing husband. Mm -hmm. That did you I put him where he belongs. Oh, yes, so. Oh, I'm very serious, my sister. See, it's you that is disturbing yourself. My friend, you see, the difference is that myself and my husband are Christians. Uh, that's it. <laughs> Am I not a Christian too? You see, it's only that, my friend, you won't understand. They make me understand, my friend. <laughs> hey. Hey, hey. Don't allow this man to kill you. Go for hey. Because it's your children that I pity. You will just make them suffer. I'm telling you, this, this man will bring another, another woman to that house. No. He will marry another wife, mm -mm. even without wasting time at all. No. Hey, use your head, my friend. All your efforts to please this man. Has he given anything? Have he changed something? Oh. Mm -hmm. I'll be telling you. When a man starts to complain about salt today, pepper tomorrow, it means only one thing. Mm -hmm. oh. And that message is very clear. Your husband have another woman outside. Yes, that's why he's behaving like this. Use your head. Ah. Eh? Use your head and see what I'm telling you. Is it because you know my husband is a born again Christian? Holy Ghost filled, tongue speaking, demon chasing. No, he can't do that. Extramarital affairs? No. Okay, oh. Your husband is a born again Christian. Ah, oh, my friend. Is that a new thing? If truly he's born again, then why is he behaving like this? Huh? Huh? You don't know that all this holy, holy husband, that walk as if they cannot hurt a fly. Oh, hey, they are the masters of this game. Mm -hmm. My friend, hey, shine this thing. Oh, use your head. All right, I think this is the time to give him back fire for fire. And put him where he belongs. So that he will learn how to respect you. Mm. Don't you think so? All right. <laughs> That's food for thought. Yes. My friend, 
Thank you very much. You're welcome. Please, I should be on my way now. All right, all Thank right, you. dear. God yeah. bless you. Amen. Take care. My regards right. to your yeah. children. Do hear. Mm. hear. Thank you. Don't forget to. Yeah. Hello, Pastor. Hello, Brother Ola. How are you today? How's work? Uh, brother, is it possible for me to see you today? I want to discuss some urgent matters with you. I hope no problem, sir. Oh, no, nothing really. I just want us to discuss man to man. Uh, I'm having a tight schedule today. Oh, and uh, then what about tomorrow? I'll make sure I see you today. I'll try. That will be better. Thank you very much. God will honor you too. Have a blissful day. Daddy, Daddy, sir, your food is ready, sir. Please, I hope the meat is not hard this time. Daddy, I cook it very well, very soft. It's your favorite that I prepare. It's okay. Okay, sir. Daddy, please, sir, I want to ask you something. Sir, please, I want to visit my sister next week, sir. Eh? For what? She's very sick. Oh, 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 medical doctor. <sighs> I have forgotten that you are now a medical doctor. No, sir. It's just that... Uh, uh. How long do you intend to stay? Sir, it's just three days, sir. I won't stay long. No, go inside. Pack your stuff. I'm going to live with them there. What is this? I'm giving you just one day. And I'm doing this because your sister is a very nice person. Mm. Underline the word very nice. So it's either you take it or leave it. Ah, I don't have. Okay, sir. I don't have choice. Best. Okay. Thank you. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Go okay. and check who is at the door. Okay, okay sir. Okay, sir. Oh, I'm not here. Ah, welcome, sir. Thank you. Is ah. my friend at home? Yes, it's been a while. Ah, thank you. Ah, that's everything. We thank God. We thank God. Alright, alright. How you doing? <laughs> Look at you. Ah, fine. Ah, ah, okay. Yeah. Ah, please to the dining. To the dining. You came at the right time. You mean at one point? Always on. As usual. Oh God. Oh my God. All right, thank you so much. Ah. Yeah, wow. Daddy, you can have your sister. Wow. Look at you, how's the family? We thank God. Everybody's <laughs> fine. Huh? You are welcome, sir. Thank you, madam. How is my friend? Your, Your wife? Friend? Uh, please, do you people talk to each other, madam? About what, sir? I mean, being a good wife. When I came in, I, I can see the way you respect my friend. The house is very neat and tidy. <laughs> but your friend is something else. Uh, listen, enough. Those praises should come to me because I am in charge of Absol's family. Yeah. I am the MD. My dear, have you? Yes, the yes, CEO, sir. The head of affairs. <laughs> listen, listen, friend. Those, those, it those. is the woman okay. that builds the home. Mm. And the codes must go to her. Yeah. Uh, madam, I appreciate your efforts. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you need to educate your friend as well. Um, uh, yes, I, I'm a bit envy of what, what, is, what, what I'm seeing here. Mm. Okay. okay, sir. I will try my best. Madam, be 
I left some books on the table this morning, and the books are no more there. How does that relate to me? What happened to my books? That's what I'm asking you. Come, am I your bookkeeper? It's like you've grown wings in this house. Oh, so you expected me to continue to play the fool? For how long? Come, you ain't seen nothing. Eh? From today, you and I have put legs in the same trousers. Yes. I think you need to go and learn from Mrs. Astro how good women behave at home. She needs to teach you that. What about you? You need to go and learn from Pastor John how to be a good father and a husband. Okay, okay. Now, listen to me. Listen to me. Answer this question. Who is the head in this house? In this very house, <laughs> we are in. Who is the head? Tell did, me. Did you hear him? Yes, tell Who me. Who is the head of this house? Answer it now. Headmaster. God. You see, Ola, what has come over you? End up with her. I mean, how did I end up marrying a woman like this? Jesus Christ. Will I make everybody continue living with her under this roof? Oh God. What kind of woman? What kind of wife is this? God. What kind of husband are you to? Ah, BC. I will show you her today. I will show you her today. So you can't believe this. You know my husband packed out, out of our bedroom with the flimsy excuse that the baby disturbs him. Hmm. The baby in question, is she not his child? Be because we have children. That, that is why I must not sleep again. You know the nature of my job, very hectic. And the only time I have to sleep is during the night. That is why she will make the children to cry, to disturb my peace. He wants to kiss me without brushing his teeth. With smelling mouth. Can't I kiss my wife because I have not brushed my teeth? She wastes the toothpaste too, too, too much. She presses it from the middle instead from the bottom. Hmm. He snores heavily in his sleep. And that disturbs me a lot. Pastor, you know the nature of my work. So at times when I'm tired, when I sleep, I snore. I snore. You need to see the way she kicks me. Why, why she want to wake me up? Be because I snore. To crown it all, he keeps malice with me. Hmm. Is he not a child of God? I've made up my mind not to talk to her again. I won't speak with her again. She gives it to me fire for fire. It's as if both of you are not ready to cool down for each other. <laughs> but you see, you have to find a meeting point. Can two work together? Except they agree, they cannot. You see, a wise woman builds a home. I want you to study him more. Know his likes and dislikes. Then give it to him. I'm very sure that you will find a meeting point. Please take this easy. The word of God, which you believe, admonishes us to treat, handle, and care for our women as the weaker vessel. Pastor, this one is no weak at all. She's not weak. I've got it to the brim. I'm fed up of her. I am fed up. I'm tired of trying to change this man. I've tried my best. I don't know what else to do. You change first. I want you to change first. You know, you can't afford to give up now. I want you to be steadfast. Eh? You know we're talking about the destiny of your home. You need to rise up and fight for your family. Do that. The Bible says it is better to live in the desert than to share a room with a contentious woman. No! Not in this matter. Okay, sir. She is your wife. And you have to be patient with her. I, I, I just hope he changes, no? Too. 
you change first, like I said, and leave the rest for God. You will be surprised how God will do it. Okay? You have to love your wife, even as Christ loved the church and gave himself for it. Pastor, I, I, I'm not Christ. I've done my best. I have tried. I, there is limit to human endurance. Maybe your best is not enough. You can't afford to toy with the destiny of your children because of the irresponsibility of your wife. Pastor, I can only do that when I'm alive. Do I have to wait on the, until she kills me? She's taking life out of me. I can't endure that anymore. Just take things easy. You can't do things by yourself. You have to trust God for strength. Remember, the Bible admonishes us to fight a good fight of faith. Without Him, you can do nothing. Hold on to Him and He will help you. He is the one that can calm the storm in your marriage and give you peace. Continue to pray for your wife. Mr. Ola, now that you are yearning, just remind me. Move back. I repeat, move back into your bedroom with your wife. Don't give the devil a chance. I'll Please try. try. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank Please you. come, let me pray with you. Let me Thank pray you. with you. In Jesus' name. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, you just heard Mrs. Um, Stella read out the letter from the Central Bank, which is about the last agenda we're taking in this meeting. We have been mandated to make our presence felt across the country, which is why we are opening three extra branches. Now that we are becoming a global bank, you understand? So we'll be opening three branches. The buildings are up. The branding has been done. Our advertising agency actually did a very good job. They really, really impressed me. And um, now we need to open to the public for operations. Um, the three branches, one is open in Osho State. Uh, Oshogbo to be precise, the central business hub of that state. The second one is open in Adoikiti. Um, Angela, I think that is a Adekunle Fajui way, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, and the last one is the one giving me concern. It's opened in um, Calabar. Wow. Yeah. yeah. We've actually gotten someone to add the two branches in um, Osho State and um, Adwekiti. But we're actually looking out for someone to go to Calabar. And you know, Calabar is more or less our regional head office in that uh, region of the country. So the person going there wouldn't just be going as a manager, it would be going as an SM, senior manager. So it actually got a lot of potential. So I wouldn't know. I'm throwing that open to everybody. If you're interested in going there, please feel free to meet the HR manager and show your interest. We'll consider it. If you qualify, yes, why not? Okay? Wow, this might be the solution to my problem. Maybe God is just trying to help me out. It will give me the break I badly need from my wife. I must not miss this opportunity. Thank you, Jesus. This is the way out. Um, do we have any questions? Yes. Okay. Sir, I want to ask, would there be a relocation allowance to whoever is going to the place, sir? Oh, oh definitely. Oh. <laughs> HR manager knows what to do about that. All right, so it's definitely going to take place. That will happen for whoever is going to go there. All right, people, but just to let you also know, in case we don't have any volunteer to go there, we probably need to tell the advertising agency to help us put out a vacancy advert in the dailies. And we have to do that within a month. If, at least, we don't have anybody going. All right, guys. So thank you. It's been a nice time having you in this meeting. Oh, 
Laola. Yeah. I trust you. Smart guy. I'm already gone. Uh, you don't disappear. Yeah. Oh. Uh. I'm done. I'm going to my office. I like Lexi. Let's see. Mm. It's already gone. temporary thing. I'm not going there permanently. Take your family with you. I don't like you to go without your family. Eh? It will be better if they stay with you. Eh? Take them with you. Dad, Daddy, you know she runs a business here and the children are very young. Exactly. Exactly. That is why I want you to take them with you. The children can quickly settle into any school and your wife's business. I mean, you can any time, any day. You, she's not a government worker. She can easily set up her business there. I, I want you to go with your family, please. It's okay, Daddy. But let me just go there first and see things out. Uh, if it works out, I'll come back and pick them. But let me just go there first, sir. Uh. Yeah, yeah, God will be with you. But keeps, keep this discussion in mind. Uh, your mommy and I will be praying for you. And uh, it shall be well with you there in the mighty name of Jesus. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, please greet mommy and mama Leko. And everybody over there. It's okay, sir. Thank you, sir. I, I, I don't know why she is so much concerned about all this. Am I a kid? But I can't decide for myself. I've been mean, longing to tell you, mm. since my transfer to this state, mm. one of the things I enjoy more is the atmosphere here. Oh, bless I hardly have time to go home now. I'm really enjoying myself here. The, you know, the mode of service, the worship, everything. Oh God. Oh God. I'm really having a good time here. Bola? Yes, sir. What you just mentioned now reminds me. I've been longing to see you. Oh, when will your family join you? The distance between here to Ilomri is actually very far. Okay. Thank you, brother. My family is okay over there, and I'm enjoying myself here. Well, it is better for families to be together. For the sake of peace, let, let that woman stay over there, and I'm enjoying myself here as well. Well, now it's better for families to be together. Please, for the sake of peace, let Good it. Afternoon, Good afternoon, sister. Good afternoon, sister. Ah, Good afternoon. Sister Sandra, how are you? Fine, Good thank you. Astrology, you. yes, you're sir. welcome. Thank you. Yes. Um, sir, this is the charge report for the for today's service. Okay. Here we have the children. All right. Um, the adults. Okay. And here we have the offerings and tithes. The tithes and oh, the vows. It's okay. It's yes, all right. Um. I hope they are in order. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. I will go to them. All right, sir. Okay. Please, um, that reminds me. Please don't forget the ushers' um, night vigil on Friday. Ah, no problem, Please sir. Please try and attend. I will be around, it's sir. It's yes, all right. Sir. I use histology too. I will try, sir. But, sir, you know the nature of my job. So, the nature of your job? Can't you take a leave from Sister Sandra? Yeah. Despite her job, she does not play with things of God. Thank you, sir. Please try and attend. Thank I'll you, try, sir. sir. It's all right. All right, yes, sir. All right, thank you yes, very sir. much. Bye bye. It's bye -bye, all right. Sir. Thank yes, you, sir. Yes, okay, sir. Okay, bye bye. All right, bye bye. Sir. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Hello, sir. I hope all is well. Sir. No, no problem. 
I, I just appreciate the grace of God upon that sister. Ah. She's very committed ah. to the grace ah. of God. I was afraid. Thank you. Please I let's see the pastor. Let's see the pastor. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. You're welcome, ma. Thank you so much. What may I offer you? Water, juice, fruit. Nothing, sister. Be okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. How are you? I'm fine, ma. We have not been seeing you and the children in the church. Is there any problem? <sighs> Ma, there is no problem. There's no problem at all. Sister BC, I think there is a problem. And I would like you to share it with me so that we can both, you know, find a solution to it together. <sighs> Sincerely speaking, it's been tough combining my business and taking care of the children. See, since my husband's transfer, Things have been very tight. You know, I have to leave home very early in the morning and come back late at night. Trying to make ends meet. You see, the summary of it is that I've been very busy. That's it. Beyond that, you still look worried. Do you hear from your husband? Yes, of course. He calls once in a while. Do you visit and call him? Each time I call, it's either an official assignment to Taraba, Kebi, Sokoto, excuses here and there. No. Please, when he visits, let Pastor know, okay? I will. Um, how is he doing over there? Hmm? God is helping him. I think you need to reorganize your schedule so that you can have more time for God. Okay? You see, you cannot afford to run away from the church now. For upon Mount, upon Mount Zion, there is deliverance. I'll try and make a change, ma. I'll try. Okay? Please do. You know we need God in all situations. Sure. Sure. It is well with you. Thank you very much. You're ma. welcome. Thanks for coming. You're welcome. Um, well, my company lodged a check of about 2.5 million, okay. and for the past two weeks now, we've not seen it in the account. For concern, you need to see the customer service manager, what? just walk down the receipt. Please, are you sure Sister the manager Sandra, is around? I'm very sure. All Sister right. Sandra! Thank you. Sister Sandra, yes. Hello, sir. Good, Good afternoon. afternoon, sir. How are you doing? Very fine, thank you. Uh, why are you here? Uh, well, my company lodged a check of about 2.5 million. For the past two weeks now, we've not seen the money in the account. It has not reflected. I'll see to that. I'll see to that. He said I should go and see the manager. I will take you there. I will take you there. Ah, no problem. I saw you work here. Yes, of course. That's great. I have the senior official manager here. Really? Yes. How oh, God be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Eh? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. So let me just go and see him. I'll take you there. Ah, uh, all right, no problem. Uh, but by the way, where are you going after leaving this place? Ah, uh, well, sir, you know I should be in church today. <laughs> oh, you might be good together. Sir? Yes, just to take you to the church. Uh, if you say so, sir, no problem. It's my pleasure. I really appreciate that, sir. Uh, but can't you just utter what without, sir? Ah, uh, sir! Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's the way my parents brought you. You are well brought up. Thank you very it's much. Okay. God Let bless me take you. you. To the All right, sir. <laughs> just follow me. Yes, sir. It's okay. Thank you. Uh-uh, <laughs>
You're very stressed for us, usual, you know. Terrible ogre. <laughs> yes, how are you? Who was that? Oh, Mr. Olan, our church member. Is that Mr. Wright? Ah, are you okay? What kind of Mr. Wright? Be careful. Ah, he's Mr. Olan now. He's a married man. Ah. Married? Yes, now. And so what? Don't married men marry. <laughs> no, no, no. As long as the wife is still alive. That is the old version of the Bible. Um, girls, look, let's stop talking about this man. I am very famished. Eh? Excuse me. Sandra. What is it again? Ah. Sandra, you must play smart. You haven't helped those who help themselves. Huh. Sandra, mm. please, I beg you, discontinue this relationship. <laughs> eh? You know the enemy is crafty. Huh. And is looking for whom he may devour. Mm. Chief Pastor Mrs. Please don't mislead that again. Just look at yourself. Where has all this your attitude brought you? Hey! Sandra. Ma? Please. Once beaten, twice shy. Huh. Just look at yourself. What if God is the one giving you this opportunity again? Huh. This your Mr. Ola? He likes you, from what I can see. Just make your move before it is too late. <sighs> well, um, girls, look, don't let us rush, I mean, disturb ourselves on this. Fine, Mr. La is a very nice person. Eh? And I like him too. But he has not made any advance at me now. The funniest part is, hey, he told me a lot about his marriage. Ah. That man is going through hell. Oh. I pity him. Oh. Oh. Sandra, mm -hmm. just be praying for him. Ah, he, I will. Be praying for him. Oh. In his prayer. You know whether God wants to use Sandra to deliver this man from frustration. Ah. Deliverance minister. Ah. Ah. Joy. I'm off. Ah. I'll be waiting on that cook. Attire for you. Is it true? Mm. Ah, what is all this? Ah, you have to, you have to stop it. Look at, I heard you many curses and abuses on those children as I was coming in. What is their offense? Hey, these children, they provoke me unnecessarily. Now look at that one. At her age, she sees sucking her hand. We need to take things easy. They are your children, and they are still very young. They cannot ruin my life. Uh, That's just like, what, is, what do you mean by ruining your life? <laughs> what I am saying is transferred aggression. I think you are visiting the, the sin of their father on them. No, 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 no. You don't understand these children. They are very wicked. Very, very wicked. Besides, I'm not visiting anyone's sin on anybody. It's only God that will reward each one of us. How we deserve it. And it's going to reward Allah greater, greater punishment for what he has done to me. Abandoning me and the children. Oh. You need to forgive your husband and move on. Eh? You see these children, they need you. And I want you to treat them well. You see, they are like arrows in your hand. And they will stand at the gate and speak to the enemy. Hmm. These ones? That want to sniff life out of me. <laughs> I just hope they will not grow grow up to be cowards like their father. Ah, 
sister Ola. Mm -hmm. Don't talk like this. Eh? And you know, upon all our efforts, you have not been coming to church. You know you need God to see you through this storm. You can't do it on your own. Eh? It's only Him that can take care of all our situations. Eh? Please. I'll try and make a change. Ah. Okay, ma. Where's your Bible? I'll try and make a change. Where is your Bible? Bring it. We need to study the word. Ami, he's allowed. What about him? One, two, three, six months now. He did not call us. He did not call me. He did not call his father. Even if we call him, he will not pick our call. But what happened? I don't know. Hey, my friend, do you check on these children? No, no. But why now? Anyway, you see, there's nothing prayers cannot do. When we are going now, okay? We we'll see the reverend, mm. and the reverend will help and agree in prayers with us. God will take control. Yeah. Uh, we understand that would be better. Okay. Was a stranger on my way when it started raining. Pretty woman offered me a place to rest. It was such a type of night. Danger. She was my angel, true. Oh, she was so beautiful as she was kind. And a widow, she was. And now I wondered how life could be so cruel, so cruel. But I know. I can never love you. Yeah, oh, I'm I'm If I'm badly, In the middle of the night, she crept up to my side. Buddy, buddy. In the night when it was dark, she touched me with her heart. But I didn't like it, so I didn't touch her, and she didn't like it, cause it felt so Brother Ola, Sister Sandra, yes, please. I have been seeing both of you together too often in questionable places. And I, for one, am not comfortable with that. That was why I had to summon uh, the head usher. Bro, go to to be here, and he also made me understand that he noticed the unusual closeness, and he had confronted both of you. Please, may I know what is going on between the two of you? Honestly, Pastor Sir, there is nothing between us. We are just friends, and she's not the only one I'm close to in the church. Just as I'm close to brother, I'll go to go to, um, to film in the church. Hmm. There's nothing between us, sir. Brother, you need to be very careful. Yes. You know you are a married man. And your family is not here. I, as a pastor, I think I need to tell you that it's physically risky. And spiritually unhealthy for a married man like you to be hanging around someone of opposite sex. Um, sir, with all due respect, sir, there is nothing going, be going on between us. We are mere friends. And besides, his office is close to mine. That is why we come to church together. He's even a big brother to me. From the look of things, that I don't... Sister Sandra, Sir. Such friendship should not be encouraged among brethren. It will serve as a tool in the hands of the enemy. What signal do you think it will send to others? 
including unbelievers that are watching you closely, you should remember the faith you confess. And remember the Bible says we should flee from all appearances of evil. Pastor, in, in all honesty, there, there, there is nothing between us. I'm just close to her as I'm well close to everybody in the church. Just like Brother Ogochuku. Pastor, I've been telling them the same thing. But they seem not to listen to me, sir. Now, as your pastor, I'm putting my foot down and ordering the two of you to put an end to this friendship. At no point should both of you, I mean the two of you, be seen alone. Yes, sir. Pastor, I'm very sorry that I did not bring this to your notice myself. Please, sir. It's okay, sir. bro. Go to you. Sorry, sir. I, I will want you to keep your eyes on them. And I will also watch them closely from now henceforth. Actually, Pastor, there is nothing between us. God sees my heart. Happy? There is nothing between us. Brother, you remember the word of God. He said we should guide our salvation with fear and trembling. So you should. It's okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Was a stranger we now No, it's not like that. The fact that Pastor does not want to see us together again does not mean we should start behaving like enemies now. Uh -uh. Uh, after all, we, we, the Bible says that uh, it's only light and darkness that cannot mingle together. And we are Christians. Were we doing anything bad? We were not now. Uh. I know, but... But what? But what? Pastor is only being overprotective. Uh, after all, we are not... We should be... We are adults now. And we should not be treated as children. We should be treated as adults. Ah, we were not doing anything bad and we know what is good for us. Ah, please. I just feel we should be careful a bit. After all, he's our pastor. I mean, our spiritual leader. Is that not what we've been doing? Is that not what we've been doing? Look, I'm missing you already. Don't you know you've become a big brother to me? I'm missing you too. It's okay. Pastor is only being overprotective, that's what I think. And we are adults, and we should be treated as one. Look, I think I know what to do. Let us move away from where people can actually see us. Uh, and now... I, I think we should be careful a bit. You know, he's our pastor, our spiritual leader. We should take to his word. We have been careful always. Ah, See, I want to discuss something very important with you. Huh? I'm listening. Thank God there is no service tomorrow. Can we see tomorrow? Why not yet? Oh, no, now. Let me text you where we can actually meet. You understand? A place where I will do the survey myself. Don't worry. It's okay. Hmm? It's okay. Uh, what about your professional exam? Ah, the professional exam. God has been faithful. God has been faithful, Jerry. All is well. Amen. So we see tomorrow then. No problem. Oh, thank you. Hmm? Thank you Let very much. You. Me, I'm a little bit of a little bit of a little and folly is a kick by
stranger run my way when it started raining. Uh, what sort of nonsense is this? You better take to my wall, you continue crying till eternity. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't. I can't commit abortion. I can't kill an innocent child. That is murder. Oh, God. And you made me come with fornication in the first place. And I am sad about it. Ah! <laughs> what do you want people to say about me? Ah! Please, please. It's not time to abortion to anybody. I didn't bargain for this also. I didn't bargain for this. I just find you out of this. How do you want God to look at us? Ah! What do you want people to say about us? What do you want them to say? Ah! God help me. Oh. It's okay, Sandra. It's okay. Stop crying. Ah. I'm, in a mess. I'm confused. Sandra, it's okay. Ah! Ah. Now listen. This is all what we need to do. Let's just take you to a very far place. Look, where nobody knows you. Uh, by the time you have the baby delivered there, we bring you back. Please! Did you just listen to your self-talk? Look, I can't give birth outside work, Lord. No, I can't. Uh, uh, and what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do then? You have to marry me. Uh, listen, listen to her. You have to marry me. See, see I am married. And I have children. You don't do it twice. I'm already married. <laughs> It's not possible. It's not possible. A woman who does not care for you. Do you call that woman your wife? <laughs> Brella. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I know I shouldn't be doing this. I can't help it. I'm not asking for much. I'm only asking you to pay for my bride price. No, we cannot go for court's wedding. I relocate to where nobody knows us. That's all. <laughs> Sandra, you're such a darling. It's okay. Stop crying. Stop crying. I'm not crying. Uh, what about the tears? <laughs> it's the tears of joy. Oh, it's okay. I'll take to your word. I uh, will commit everything to God's hand. God will see us through. Come on, I can't withstand you crying. It's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop I love crying. you. I love you too. It's okay. The guy actually cheats on his wife and uh, right about now his wife wants him back home. We're still doing the evening service. It's alright. Okay. Ah, uh, wait a minute. That reminds me. What is the update about um, Brother and Sister Sandra? I've not heard anything for so long. Pastor, I have searched everywhere for these people. I was told Brother has been transferred to Enugu. Where is there his office? Yes, sir. And Sister Sandra's roommates said they've not heard anything from her. They said that she only just told them that she was traveling and she's going to stay for a long time. For a long time indeed. What a pity. If Ma succeeds in running away from her, can they run from God? Lord God, you could. Since I'm speaking, we need to pray for them. That the Lord should order their footsteps. Amen. We can't afford to lose them. God bless you. Thank you, Pastor. How 
was your journey. It was fine, but do you know what? I have to go back again to finish my power. You, ah, you oh. and this your trap. You and this your trap. It's not my fault. Eh? You I, have missed a lot in the church. Don't mind me, I'm sorry. So how are you? How, ah, what, is, what exactly have I missed? What's happening? Ah, do you know Sister Sandra? Sister Sandra. Sandra. Oh, Sandra, now you know she's in the department. Oh, that committed sister. That, ah, that very devoted yes. ah, yeah. yes. oh, to her. Yes, yeah. I thought you would have forgotten her so soon. Her. What's about her? What happened to her? Do you know Brother Ola? Brother Ola, Brother Ola. Yeah, nah, brother the one that was transferred from Lagos. Yes, the married man. Nah. Like, okay, that banker. banker. Okay, yes. Okay, yes, I remember. What about her? What about him? Hey, do you know that Sister Sandra uh -huh. and Brother Ola, they are dating? Please spare me. Tell me another thing. Tell what me do you mean by tell you? How can I all look cheap? Eh? Giving you first class information. You're telling that she tell you another Please thing. Please tell me you are joking. I I'm, beg. I'm uh, not joking. Please, I'm serious now. I'm serious. Is the pastor, is the pastor on way? Excuse me. Let me give you the updates. Hey. Do you know that Sister Sandra is pregnant for Brother Ola? Please, Ola? enough of that. Uh -uh. Please, don't. Uh -uh. No, no, More no, no, updates. No, More way. updates. More updates. Hey. They've gotten married and relocated somewhere else. Even pastor knows about it. Eh? Sister Oluchi, uh -uh. mm -mm. mm -mm. mm -mm. wait, 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 how do you get all these information? I, Oluchi, eh? yes. Network without failure. You're yeah. asking me how I got all this information. Sister Oluchi, hey. let Sister me tell Oluchi. you, I, Oluchi, no network failure, has all their information hey. in the palm of Even the one that is happening now, I have all that will happen later. Uh -uh. The one that will come in future to happen, my antenna has detected all of them. Hey. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Wait, I've not even, I've just told you about uh, Oshin department, you are shaking. Eh? You remember my ear is everywhere. Look and corner of this church, and you are shaking like this. I've not told you about the drama department. Hey, hey. Wait, wait, the choir department. Hey. The welfare department. The protocol department. Even the one happening among pastor. And you are shaking like this. My hands are tied. Stop with you. Wait, wait, wait. Hmm. I know you know a lot, but yes. can you tell me what exactly you've heard about me? And you know about you, me. Yes. If I start with your own, we will not live here. Are you serious? We will not live here. Sister you, Luchi, come, 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 come. Come and do what? Go, come I tell you, tell please me. leave me alone, Joy. I don't have your time. No, I don't want to say anything now. And hey. thank you for coming. Uh, don't don't mention. Don't mention. I hope um, everything we have discussed so far. You understand? Auntie, I don't understand anything. Ah, sit, 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 sit. I don't. What you told me that you, was that your husband had changed since you lost that pregnancy. Yes, Wasn't it? He has changed. Uh -huh. He has changed. Okay. So don't you think you must do something about it? But what do I do, Auntie? What ah. do I do? What do you do? You have to tie him down like a goat. If you don't do that, Sandra, I'm afraid he will go back to his wife. What? Mm -hmm. Never. God forbid. Oh. He will never leave me and go back to that woman. Uh -uh. And I will not tie him down. I will not do what you're asking me to do. Uh. <laughs> I can't. Mm. Uh. any act of indiscipline. Make sure you come to school early, do your work as you ought to, and God will bless you. For those who are not doing what is right, they are to be punished. Are you just going to school? late. Thank you. Frog John. Thank you, Frog John. Why? We are leaders. New town. Hurry up. 
Good morning, thank you. Coming to school by this time of the day I'm with sorry. this kind of hairstyle. I'm sorry, ma'am. And this shoe. Eh? Didn't you know that we don't you don't supposed to come to school with this with this kind of hair? Eh? Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Yes, sir. Oh, get out from this. Get out from this place. Come on, get out. The next oh. person. Why are you just coming to school now? Eh? You are coming to school by this time of the day. I'm asking you question. Why are you coming? Why are you coming to school by this time of the day? Why are you just why are you just coming to school? Eh? Why are you coming? Come on, get out of this place! Tomorrow evening, sir. Oh, oh, I'm free tomorrow. Yes, you are. Sir. Good. So uh, I can fix my wife in for tomorrow. But on Friday, sir, we we'll have to travel for the power conference. Oh, 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 more than that. The one in Lagos. Pastor, I don't like this. Good afternoon, ma'am. I don't just like it. Mrs. Astro, please calm down. Can you please sit down? Now calm down. What is the issue? Why should she seize my son's Bible? Oh? What right does she have to seize my son's Bible? What does she expect him to use during church service? I don't even know why she likes picking on my children. Who is this person? His teacher. Children's teacher. The children's teacher? Yes. Sister Ruth? Yes. Radivis, yes. please give me Sister Ruth. All right. Please calm down. I will handle this. She oh, she's oh, open nah, Thank you. Please. Thank you, sir. I'll call Good you back. Good, Good afternoon, afternoon Sister Aru. How are you today? Thank How you, was the service? Thank God bless you. You are doing wonderfully well with the children. Thank you so much. Um, but there's this little issue, this tiny issue, I would like to clarify. Did you today, I mean today, seized anybody's Bible? I mean our son Jidin's Bible. No, sir. I only sees this iPad. iPad? But you said Bible. He has this Bible on his iPad. Ma, your son was browsing on his iPad while the class was going on. I went and stood right behind him, unknown to him, only to find out he was on a pornographic site. That's a lie! Ask My son can never do such a thing. Are you sure? I'm ah. sure, sir. Very sure. Ah, Pastor. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh Pastor. Is that the iPad? This is the iPad, sir. Um, and it was, was there a Bible on it? Surprisingly, sir, there is no Bible on it. I downloaded it myself. Is it true you are watching pornography on it? Yes, sir. Huh? I saw it on my dad's laptop. You saw it on your daddy's laptop? Yes, sir. I don't blame him. Who do you blame? Me? The teacher? Oh, he must have learnt it from his dad. What? From his dad? Are you telling me his dad visits such sites too? Yes. And when I ask him to be discreet about it, he says there is nothing to hide. There is nothing to hide. Where's your husband now? Is he in church? <sighs> Sister Ruth, please get me. No, okay. Pastor. He, he, he traveled. He should be back this weekend. <sighs> Mrs. Astro, do you spend time with your children? <clears throat> I mean, do you, you take them to school, you bring them back from school, and um, you do their own work with them? Uh, of course, that's the duty of 
My house help. What? Yes, she. You mean your house help is one bringing up your children for you, Drain? Ah, Pastor, due to my job. I, I think your phone. Oh yes, thank you, Pastor. Oh, it's my husband calling. Okay. Hello, sir. Hello. Thank God you call. Is your son? Oh, oh sorry. Is our son? What about him? He was caught visiting pornography sites during what? child service. What? Ah. Uh, okay, okay. I'll, I'll handle that when I come back. Uh, okay, Pastor, uh, sir. I'm with Pastor. Maybe I should give him the phone. Pastor, please. Hello, Mr. Hastro. You heard what your son did? Yes, um, good afternoon, sir. I'm very sorry for my son's misbehavior in church. Okay. So when are you coming back? When can I see you? Um, okay. Uh, I actually have to attend a conference, a business meeting on Monday tomorrow. Okay. Um, but I should be back first night on Tuesday, so I'll see you in the... Tuesday? Yes, I'll see you. That means you'll be at the, at the Bible study? Yes, no problem. Okay, then. Thank you, Sister Ruth. Right, God bless you. I'll see you. Bye bye, Coming in by this time of the day. I'm asking you a question. Why are you just coming in? Eh? Why are you just why are you just why are you just I said why are you just coming in? Why are you just What is this? Oh! This is how you people do 
an escape from the school? Pick those bags and follow me. We are going to settle everything with this court. Okay. I will make sure you leave this school with this your discipline. Let's pick those bags. To the principal's office. Move now. Move. What See, what you want to do with your life? My sister, you must realize that you carry the bulk of the responsibility. And you see, a wise woman builds her womb, but a foolish one uses her hands to pull it down. Mm -hmm. And always carry your husband along, whatever you are doing, okay? Okay, ma. Thank you, ma. I'll work on it, ma. That's good. And there is something else. I need to tell you this. Okay. You don't need to impress anybody. I want you to always be yourself. Just try. Be yourself. Because, you see, I notice that at times you double deal. That is not the best. Be yourself and everything will be alright, okay? Okay. And the pastor will still see your husband. Okay. okay. I'm okay. very sure everything will be all right. All will be well. Amen. 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 It is well with you. Amen. Thank you, ma. God bless you, ma. I really appreciate you, ma. Thank God. The last time we caught her, madam, you came crying and begging. But she has not changed. She is a bad influence on other students. Most of the atrocities in the hostels were traced to her. She doesn't take to correction and she's very rude. Will you stop chewing that gum in my office? That gum is the least she can do. Look at her makeup. Every time, all the time. You have the effort to chew gum in my office. Madam, look at your daughter. It's unfortunate. The last time we expelled the brother, you came in here signing an undertaking that the sister is going to be of a good behavior. Is this what you call a good behavior? Look at that. Even in my office. Well, madam, but I must tell you that you are lacking in your responsibility. You are shocking. Look at your daughter. You have not been open doing as a mother. Madam, let me ask you this question honestly. Where is the father of these children? I mean, your husband. Principal, her father, please, 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 I beg you. Let's leave her father out of this. She has no father. Mm. Yes. If I start this story, Principal, we will not live here today. Please. Okay, well, let's leave. madam. Yes, sir. Principal. Your family matters is none of our own concern. Your child is the reason why you have come. I'd like to tell you that I do not have a unilateral decision to take as a principal of the school. The board of the school has the final say. The board sat on the issue of your daughter and they have taken a decision. Thus, the reason why you are invited here, madam. The board has carefully looked into her character, her behavior, vis-a-vis -vis the implication of what she's doing on other students. And they have come out with this decision, madam. I'm sorry. I'm very, very, very sorry. Your daughter has been expelled from the school. Please, Papa, please. Please. In the name of God, I beg you. It must not happen to me again. I beg you, please, ma. Please, just give her a good chance. I beg of you. Please. What I mean is, just, can you please help me reverse the dismissal? Mm -hmm. Suspension. Mm -hmm. One month, two weeks, two months. Mm -hmm. Please. Not on this girl. Have you seen the bro? Teacher, please do something. Please. Teacher, there's nothing we can do. 
You have neglected your role as a mother. I agree, but you are a mother too, Principal. Teacher, please, happy birthday. Please, please. It's obvious she is out of control. And I want to tell you that this school cannot jeopardize the reputation on the platform of a girl who has refused to listen to correction. I want to assure you, madam, that the decision of the board stands tall. Nobody goes against such. Oh my God! Thank you, madam. Good day. God! Why are all these happening to me? Ola! Ola! How many times have I called you? Wherever you are, listen to me. Listen, listen. Wherever you may be, the hands of God is against your life. Yes! Yes! Died the military. So I would not allow any woman or children to turn me into a fool. They misbehave, I put them where they belong. That's it, Pastor. That's true. Uh, but does that firmness and putting them where they belong include beating your wife oh, and oh. turning your children to. Pastor, I'm sorry, what? please. This is a family affair. Okay, okay. Let it die. And let's bury it here. All right, then. please. It's okay. Thank you very much, it's Pastor. Right. Thank you. Uh, but, um, by the way, I saw a man as I was coming into your estate, beating himself, boxing himself. I'm just no, 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 no. That must be a madman. We don't have madmen here. No. On, on this estate? He, you know, on the estate, not a madman. He was just no, a no, man. no. He, he must be fight. mad. Any man who does that to himself, who beat himself, must be a madman. So, and we don't have that here. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Maybe it's, it's, uh, it's worse, sir. All right. Uh, but um, the Reverend, during your wedding, you must have mentioned something like uh, two becoming one, uh, and uh, two are now yes, one. Yes, 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 yes. Myself and my wife, we are now one. Now we are married. married. Yes, Pastor. Okay. Um, so when a man now beats his wife, does that not mean he's beating himself? And uh, what does that make such a man? <laughs> Don't mind me. All right. I'll see you at the church on Sunday. Children and the wife. 
Babola. What? I can't believe it. What? In fact, we have neglected these children for so long. I can't imagine a son of ours abandoning his family just like that. God. A child that we brought up in the way of the Lord was not trying to... Hey, 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 please, don't say anything negative, I beg you. Our children are taught of the Lord, and great shall be their... What peace are we talking about here? Somebody that I will call, there's always excuses and excuses. When I call him, why are you not with your family yet? He will tell me, eh, the landlord has not given him key to the house. Eh, it is not only you. Oh. Every time I call him, anytime I ask of his new address, he will always be saying, eh, we have not bought upholstery, eh, no fridge, even eh, no bed for you when you come. There is no place for you to sleep. Excuses upon excuses. Abola. Hmm? Our prayer is not enough yet, oh. No. We have to intensify on our prayer for these children. Yes, yes. Hmm. I have been thinking along that line. Hmm. Uh, I think I have to go and see our reverend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we will pray together Honestly. and intercede. Honestly. Uh, Ola was not brought up like this. Yeah. It wasn't like this. <laughs> Ola. Uh, and we continue by the man busing. That was before. The thing oh, is yeah. getting worse by day. Ola, our son is not like this. Hey. He wasn't like this. Ola was brought up in the way of the Lord. God. It has got into this system, but Ola, he's so bad now that even if I call him, once he hears my voice, he will not answer me because he knows what I'm going to that say. That is what I am saying. This ah. is not ordinary. What is Ola was not like this. Long ah. God, please. Where were we? Where were we? This is quite funny, isn't it? Very funny. Uh, uh, Hola! You're just there. Uh, are you there counting my voice? No, no. What about. I'm busy. I'm washing the plates. Uh, what about the water I asked you to bring? Oh, sorry. I'll be there. Can, can, can you see? Just hmm. imagine. Hmm. Sorry. Use the water. <laughs> so you've been washing that place since? Oh, no. Eh? Since? You've not seen... You, you, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You're just a case. Oh my God. Ola. What did you use in washing this cup? Uh, it's liquid or... Shut up! Soap. Which liquid soap? You use detergent to wash this thing. Eh? Oh. So you want to kill me, Abby? <laughs> Auntie, can you see? Look. Before you kill me, I will kill you. Ah. Exactly. Uh... Get out of my sight! Nonsense. Can you see him? <laughs> Very gullible instrument. Please, I want to tell you something. Go on, I'm listening. It's like I'll need some money. I'll, yes, I need a new pair of shoes, so I'll need some money. <laughs> Look, you have to wait for your next month's salary. Because the last month's salary, we've spent it. It was not even enough. And you know it. The shoe is old, you know. <laughs> and besides, I'm even answering him. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to get a new pair of shoes, Abby? Uh, really? Yes. Hey. Yeah. Is it because of those Indomie girls? Those Facebook girls? Uh, those what I am still talking, you keep quiet when I'm talking. Those WhatsApp girls? Uh, hey. Okay. Very good. Now I know the reason why you have the guts to ask me for a new pair of shoes. Ah. It is because you are not busy. No. It is because you are not busy. No. Now go to the kitchen. 
Those plates, rewash them. Ah. I am talking. In the name of Jesus. Wash plates. Go to the bathroom. Wash my uh, excuse me. It's like, I, I don't really I need. Talking. I don't need any issue again. Be quiet. Go to the bathroom. Wash my arms. My clothes. Wash them. In the name them. of you. I own them. Is that clear? It's okay. Now get out. I'm sorry. I don't, hey! I don't need any issue. Get out. I said get out. I'm so sorry. No sense. Can you see? Take it easy on him. If I don't treat him like this, Auntie, he won't learn to respect me. Oh, you Can you see the old fool? Huh? This thing is still working for you, so take it easy on him. <laughs> okay. And that reminds me, Sandra. Mm. You have to get pregnant quick. You. Auntie, I am tired. Oh. I just keep having miscarriages. Mm. Even the last one, it almost took my life. I remember, I remember. Ah. See? Oh. But well, never mind, you know. Baba is going to give you something that will make it that will make it stay this time around. Really? Yes, yes. The last time I went to him, he promised to give us something. Ah, thank you know? to God. Thank mm. God. So ah. don't worry. I'm always there for you. Uh, I am always there for you. I do, Auntie. Trust you, Auntie. I do. Uh -huh. and that's Maybe why tomorrow I like we'll go you. to Baba. Go and All right. Because you know you have to get pregnant. Ah, sure. Uh -huh. I will. Mm. I will. I just you, know that. Uh, I know you are having this thing all the time, you know, these miscarriages. But with what? Have I called you? Wherever you are, listen to me. Listen, listen. Wherever you may be, the hands of God is against your life. No, no, don't kill my baby. No, no, Sandra. No. What is it? Which baby? Don't you anywhere? What is happening? Oh, my stomach! What happens to your stomach? <laughs> Jesus! No! What is it? My... She just screamed! Oh, she just screamed! Oh my god! <laughs> Train up our child the way it should go. So say the word of the Lord. And he will not depart from it. These children are the heritage of God in our care. And how we bring them up matters. The Bible says, Blessed is the man that has his quiver full of them. He shall not, he will not be ashamed when he speaks with the enemy at the gate. Why? Because the children will speak back at the enemy at the gate. Hmm. What legacy are you laying down for these children, Mr. Aslan? Sister Lovett, what precepts are you laying down for them? These children are your future. Your tomorrow. Therefore, how you relate with them, how you bring them up now, matters. It is your responsibility to cater and nurture them. 
My father of blessed memory, do say, it is what you don't want to do that you make excuses for. Don't let your busy schedule debar you from doing your responsibilities. <laughs> um, Daddy and Mommy, thank you for your commitment. Uh, you have been of tremendous help to our family. I know I have failed in my responsibilities as a good husband and as a good father. The enemies distracted me. You see, I just, I just want to thank you for bringing my wife and I back together again. We were dead and lost to the things of God. We were only pretending to be alive. <laughs> After the incidences of our son's misbehavior at the church, mm. things have changed for good. I could remember the last time you came here with mommy. You counseled us at length. Yes. We now put most of the things into practice. Our family has changed for good. Yes. Daddy and mommy, thank you for your commitment. You will not labor in vain. Amen. Thank you very much. Amen. Thank you. Ah. Mommy, <laughs> Daddy, thank you so much, ma. Thank you, sir. In fact, you've been a great help to our family. My family has changed for good. Yes. Husband has reduced his traveling, mm -hmm. and mommy has been modeling me in a part of a virtuous woman. Mommy, thank you so much, ma. Okay. I have changed. I now have time for my children yeah. and take good care of my husband. Ah, mommy, thank you so much. Thank you, daddy. Thank you. God bless you, Amen. ma. God thank bless you, you, daddy and mommy. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Sister, I love it. Yes, sir. That's one thing you are getting to know. The Bible says, a wise woman builds her home. Or the foolish one, <laughs> with, his le with her legs and her hands, scatter. Don't leave him to it alone. Take decisions together. And don't just take decisions. Bring the children into decisions. Daddy and mom, by the grace of God, that is what we have been doing. Yes. By the grace of God, yes. we are now together. Yes, that's good. That's good. That's good. That is good. So where are the children? Yeah. Um, they, are in, they are inside. They are doing their assignment. Yes, yes, yes. Call oh, them, let us pray. Let's pray together. Okay. Okay. All right, Jibe. Okay. Right. Right. My dear, look, I brought water for your medication, yeah? You know you have to take this thing. Mm -hmm. I know you don't like the thing there, but you have to. You have to do this thing. Okay? So that you can get well on time. Please, my dear. Please. Why are you fine now? I know. Can't you see? I know. I know. Open your eyes so you can use them. Oh, I'm Oh, it's okay. So just take more. Take more. Like that. Ah, hmm? Where is the water? Take it. You get better quickly. You know. You know. The doctor said you must take medication, so you can feel okay. That's all right. That's fine. Yeah, Take more water. Drink more water. Drink more water. You'll be fine. Remember when we went to Baba? Huh? Mm. He said you have to conceive within 
10 years for this man. And if you don't, the child will stop working. This is prepared from our country. Okay then. Occam is never barren. Within 10 years, at least she must give the man a child. If that is achieved, she has him forever. If not, hmm, the repercussion is grievous. Go. Hold it. Child, at least. Thank you, Baba. Thank you, Baba. Hey! Hey! Thank you, Baba. Hey! Thank hey! You, Baba. Hey! <laughs> Yes, now, ah, <laughs> I don't want to laugh. This is the seventh year. Ah. Don't you know what is happening, Sandra? Uh. You don't know what is happening? What? Ah, what I'm trying to tell you is that uh. you cannot conceive again. Ah, ah, auntie, are you God? You don't know. This last miscarriage you had, mm. it affected your womb. What is wrong with this society? Hell bent on madness and folly. It's a kick, Panino. I don't go down in Brooklyn. It's a kick, Panino. I don't go down in Tamino. I understand. It's clear to me what I'm saying. We need this baby. What about my wife? Everything. Hey. We need everything. Oh God. We need everything. Oh. Hey. We need everything. It's okay. Please. We need it. Don't talk at me. Don't talk at me. Don't talk at me. Hey oh God, we need this boy. Doctor. How, how, how is she, sir? Doctor. How is she? She's stable. Oh, thank you, God. But, sir, ah, yes, rather sir. than going physical with your wife, you should have excused yourself or something. Ah, we, there was no fight. You we mean? didn't fight at all. No. She just screamed from her sleep. I, I thought she had a terrible dream. And yeah. ah, the next thing was blood flowing from her body. Is that all? This is strange. Ah. Mm -hmm. You see, ma, the damage done on her. Ah. Uh, made us to recommend what we did on her. Ah. I, I believe you will understand. 
Yes, sir. Because now we thank God she, she is stable. She's stable. Why is that confused again? What did you just say? My group has been removed? Sandra. Ah! Don't take it like that. Go! Don't take it like that. Don't take it like that. Don't take it. Who did this to me? I offended you. I've killed you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my dear. There was nothing the doctor could do. I want you to be alive. It was either you or you know. Your life should be at priorities to us. Please. I'm sorry. You're fine. You're okay. You're okay. You know, there's nothing I cannot do. There is nothing I cannot do. I believe that. We are to have that problem. No other name, like the name of Jesus. No other name, like the name of Jesus. No other name, like the name of Jesus. No other name, redeem the name. No other name. What the name? Sandra has ruined my life. Let's pray for me. 
Rola. Sincerely speaking, Sandra did not ruin your life. You ruined your life by yourself. You remember the Bible says that let no man, when he is tempted, says that he has been tempted by the Lord. Every man is drawn and enticed by his own lust. And when lust is conceived, it leads to sin. When sin is mature, it leads to death. Oh, my life, the devil got me. Oh. I never saw it coming. Yes. Oh, I was so stupid. Oh, please pray for me. Yes, Brola. You did not see it coming. The devil has set this trap. But one thing I want you to understand that our God is plenty of his mercy. He wants everybody to come to repentance of their sins. And he will not want anybody to perish. But first, Bola, you have to rededicate your life back to Christ. We need to pray. We need to pray. God. Father. Our God. You sin the heart of your son. We want to thank you for you didn't allow the devil to sweep him away. But you made him to come back just like a prodigal son. Trace his foot back to Christ. Ah. Brother Allah, I pray that God will go before you. Amen. As you embark on this journey tomorrow, Amen. God shall grant you favor. Amen. Just like with this course, please, first and foremost, locate your pastor. Thereafter, both of you should go and locate your family so that you can reconcile with them. Please, I hope you understand what I've said. Yes, Pastor. God will go before you. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, sir. We love you. Thank you, sir. I'll continue to pray for you. You have been a great help to me. I pray the grace of God upon your life will continue to be increasing. Thank you, sir. Amen you. and amen and amen. Yes. God bless you, brother. My regards to mommy. I will. Thank you. Bye-bye. Safe journey.
don't interfere in matters that does not concern you. If not, you will receive a share of, of, of this meeting. Yes. Who are you? Who are you betting now? Who is he? Don't talk to me. Who is he? Young man betting you. Move back. It's me. Don't talk to me. It's me. Allow your husband. You! Did you forget something? By the way, who is this young man beating you? How much do you owe him? Let me pay. What did you get from him? Why is he beating you like that? Who are you? Who are you? Who called you here? Why are you being interfering in what does not concern you? What are you? In what way? Better be careful. If not, you will get your share of the team. Beat him too! Beat him too! Who is he? Tell me, what do you hope? Oh, where would you come from? Where would you come from? That's the truth of your absence. Ah! Wait, 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 wait. Ah! They listen to the thoughts in the mouth. Ah! No, 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 See, you why did you become this? Don't tell me those people are your friends. You! You went away! You left us! And mommy has transferred all the aggressions on us! Absolutely. You have come here today! Today is your own day! Today is your day! God forbid. Huh? Ah, but we just have to thank God, Sha. Where is where is he now? Where is Ola? I think that's him. That's him coming. That's true. Ah. Ah. That's true. Hey, thanks for the clothes. Do you know we were heading the same direction? Before God used Pastor to bring us. Ah. Hey. I don't know where to pick pieces of my life from. Ah. Imagine my own son being there. He beat me up. Ah. Ah. Wow. Ah. Sir, that's okay. Don't lose hope. There's no case irredeemable with God. Allah, with God, all things are possible. Yes. Please, I long to see the pastor. No, we are going there like now. I have lost all the contacts. Just take me to the pastor. Ah. Please, uh, I think we need to move now. Yes. yes, yes. Sorry. Yes. Yes. Okay, sir. Uh, please, we should change that. Uh, are you okay, yes. Allah? I'm okay. Oh, do you still want to eat me? I'm okay with. Let's get to the pastor's house. Uh. I worked a way to save my marriage. Only to return too late. 
Pastor, can God forgive me? He entrusted me with a hole. He made me the head. And I failed him. Can he forgive me? God can never forgive you. Ah. We have been begging you since. To please forgive him. To hate his human. And to forgive his divine. Please, my dear. Please forgive him. Sister BC, it's alright. Please don't talk like that. It will be well. Amen. It will be well. It will never be well with me. I'm going to peace now. Sister BC. I understand. That you are bitter and angry with him. It's quite understandable. But you are equally at fault in this. So much at fault in all this. How, Pastor? Where is my fault in all this, Pastor? Sister BC, a wise woman builds her home. So says the Bible. And you know it. But a foolish woman tears down her home with her hands. Your husband left home due to a series of problems the two of you are having that you refused to resolve. Did you? Since he left home, intercede for him? Did you not believe his absence to be a relief initially? And were you not taking out his irresponsibility on the children out of frustration? It takes two to fight my sister. But we are one of the parties is committed to peace. Ah. That is where the saying goes that one with God is a majority. Hey, Pastor. The Lord will bless you, sir. Amen. Amen. We really appreciate you for all your efforts, your prayers, your counsel, for this, our children. Amen. 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 Amen can set a man's life ablaze. Ah. I mean, Ola, you veered off a godly path and your family followed suit. When a man loses his headship position, he makes his family to be an endangered species. Yeah. My dear, oh mommy, please, Find a place in your heart to forgive him, please, and he shall be well with you. Amen. I will not forgive you. He has been me. I have been begging you since. Please forgive him. I beg you in the name of the Lord. Please. Sister Lucy, you have to forgive him. Mm -hmm. Unforgiveness. It's like you taking a poison and expecting another person to die. It does not work that way. Please, find a place in your heart to forgive him for your own good and for the good of everybody. Please, forgive. Please. Pastor, please. If I forgive him, will it bring back my joy? By forgiving him, will it bring back my children? Will it bring back the happy home I desired from God? My daughter, my daughter, with God, nothing shall be impossible. There is nothing God cannot do. The Bible says, 
better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. Please, we are all pleading. Please, find a place in your heart to forgive your husband and he shall be well with you. Amen. Sister Bissi, God commanded Job. After he lost everything and his friends were just talking to him and making him feel bad. And he obeyed. It was after he forgave his friends and prayed for them that God restored everything to him. Yes. Forgiveness will bring peace to your heart. Mm -hmm. yes. And God will restore what he has proposed to do. But God is here commanding you. God is not begging you to. God is here commanding you to forgive so that he can restore. Forgive, Mr. BC, and let it go. What a destructive life. Devil did not only destroy my life. He destroyed everything I ever worked for. That is why I'm begging you. Not to tread the same path. Don't let the devil do the same thing to you. If not for yourself, do it for the sake of the children. I mean for their future. Elder Allah, all these things happened to you? Yes. My only son is serving a 10 years time for a crime he committed with his cult group. And our daughter had a baby heart of wedlock. Together with my wife, we are still trusting God to unite our family and visit us again. Every decision leads to a direction. And every direction takes us to a destination. The destination of our future is determined by the decision we take today. That is why I'm begging you, please, to mend your way. The plan of God according to the book of Mark chapter 10. Verses 5 to 8 is that couple should stay together and blend together, especially for the lives of the children, to have a better family. Hmm. My God, I'm short of words. Honey, I'm sorry. Jesus. Please don't go. I should be the one apologize. Oh. As Elder Allah was talking, I, I was asking myself, why do we always quarrel? There's no problem. Everything is fine now. Please don't go. Please come back. I'm not going anywhere. This is my home. <sighs> I'm not going anywhere. I love you. This is my home. Please stay. I love you too. <sighs> Thank, Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. So I'm begging you. Stay in that marriage and work things out for the betterment of the family. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know,
la corinja ya la e. Ombase o che colabo. Odi comando. 